the book of Joshua chapter 1 after the death of Moses the Lord's servant the Lord spoke to Joshua son of Nun Moses assistant he said Moses my servant is dead therefore the time has come for you to lead this people the Israelites across the Jordan River into the land I'm given them I promise you what I promised to Moses whatever you set foot you will be on land I have given you from the Negev wilderness in the south of Lebanon mountains in the north from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west including all the land of Hittites no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for I will be with you as I was with Moses I will not fail you or abandon you be strong and courageous for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them verse 7 be strong and every courageous be careful to obey all the instruction Moses gave you do not de deviate from them turning either to the right or to the left then you will be successful in everything you do study this book of instruction continually meditate on a day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it only then you will prosper and succeed in all that you do this is my command be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go all right let's look into a couple of things here and be encouraged today by the way Joshua has received a couple of promises from God here that are for here today amen yes he was the leader but it belongs to everybody this kind of thing so let us just look into this and what God spoke to Moses to Joshua is very important to listen to In verse 3, God has given to Joshua his first promise. Listen to this. I promise you what I promised to Moses. Whatever you set foot, you will be on the on land I have given you. Whatever you set foot, you will be on land I have given you. Means you will have victory anywhere your foot will step on that's promise amen that's your promise today that's the promise that God has given remember this remember this God wants you to step on the serpent amen and crush his hand God wants you to step on your situation and God is going to give you victory. That's the promise of God. I promise you what I have promised to Moses. Listen to this. Jesus said the same. Before he left, he says, All that has been given to me by the Father is mine. And I will declare that to you. I share that with you. Amen. The power of the Spirit. You see, let me, let, me, let, me sh let me speak to you about one thing. That you may understand a bit better. And in those days, in the Old Testament, they moved from one um, a place to another. They went from precept upon precept from line upon line they were moving from one point to another in spirit now we are in Christ 
and we have we have received something really better than they had before when god has given us the holy spirit it means this as jesus said all authority has been given to me are you listening it says all authority has been given to me on earth and above And he said, when the Spirit of God will come, the power of God will come. He will cover it all for you. Listen to me carefully. The power that we have received from God covers absolutely everything from A to Z in our life. It's whatever we are going through and whatever we'll, we will be going through now and forever until we see Jesus. Alright? God has equipped us with anointing, with the power. And He wants us to know that it doesn't matter what the devil is causing or trying to bring. It doesn't matter what this life is all about. It's all covered. It's all paid. You got the power to overcome. You've got the power to overcome. So when the Holy Spirit came, as it was given to Jesus, it says, all power was given to me on earth and above. The Holy Spirit brings the same thing into your life because you are the child of God, because you are believer in Christ. Amen. Amen. God wants you to know this today, that you have all the powers and authority with Christ and in Christ. Against all evil, all force, and all that is coming against you. Because God's power is greater than anything else. Amen. Amen. When you are under the blanket of God, nothing can stand against you. That's why God said to Moses, I promise you that you will lead these people to the promised land regardless of what. When Moses was taken up to heaven, he said the same thing to Joshua. Amen. When Jesus was raptured to heaven, he said the same thing to the church. You and I. This is why we believe in the power of God. It's why we cling to the Holy Spirit. It's why we just worship God. This is why we allow in ourselves to die in the presence of God. It's why we know that without God we are nothing and with God we, we are everything. And you see, God said, I promise you what I have promised to Moses. And God is speaking to you today and He said this, I promise you what I promised through Christ. You following me? You maybe never thought yourself about yourself or seen yourself just as high, but you will. Because all the promises that Jesus brought in and fulfilled are yours. Amen. Within the power of God, we have more, we are more than conquerors. Listen to this. I promise you what I promised Moses. Whenever you set foot, you will be on land I have given you. And God explains actually to Joshua what kind of land he's going to take. And he did. From Negev wilderness in the south of the Lebanon uh, mountains in the north. So from south and north this part. And from east to west that part. God has given to the Israelites. Today, people want to take this land away from Israel. What a foolishness. <laughs> God will never give back what He has given. Because God's gifts are irrevocable. God says, moreover, I will expend it. I will double it. I will bless it. Amen? It's God's land. So imagine when G, what, what, whatever has, everything that has given to you through Christ, 
who can take it away. Moreover, God is going to double it. Israel is fighting for their land, right? And with unseen hand, God is there for them. Same thing the devil is doing in your life, trying to take away from you your territory in Jesus. But listen, it's not going to happen. Amen. You are in Christ. And the same territory is going to be yours. The same authority and everything that God has given. Amen. Hallelujah. And actually, the first promise was, it says, whatever your foot will set upon, I will give that to you. That's promise number one. What is promise number two? God showed Israel the land. God showed Joshua the parameters of the land. I want you to listen to me carefully. Because what you understand today is very important. First promise God has given you. He says everything that I said through Christ to give you. That's yours. That's my first promise. Amen. Everything that I have given you through Christ, this is my first promise. And the second promise, everything that you listen, uh, uh, everything that you are uh, reading in my word. The parameters of that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God explains what? And you see the parameters of what God has given to us through Christ. He says, everywhere your foot will step upon. Everywhere your spirit will touch. Everywhere you're going to believe for what I said, it's yours. Oh, hallelujah. God has given us through Christ. He paid the price. It's ours. Amen. All we need to do is to set our foot upon. And I'll show you how. I'll show you how. Verse 5 says this. No one will be able. Oh, hallelujah. All your spiritual authorities and all the things that God has given you in your life. Jesus said, no one will be able to stand against you. As long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. For I will be with you as I was with Jesus. All right? And I will not fail you or abandon you. That's promise number three. No one will be able to stand against you. Do you see this? No demon, no devil, no circumstances... Nothing will be able to stand against you. Because as I was with Jesus, as my spirit was with Christ and when he was on earth, same way I am with you. And Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Is that right? So that's, that's the promise number three. Amen. And then we read this. After that, God commanded to do something. It says, while, the, while you have these three promises in your life, now He says, be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from it. Turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate in a day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper And succeed in all you do. This is my commandment. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or be discouraged. 
What God has really given us is an amazing promised land. In the mighty precious name of Jesus, I give you the praise, my Lord. Touch. Touch. Speak healing right now. And every demon and every devil in the name of Jesus, loose. Let go right now in Jesus' name. Touch her. Touch her, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Come over here quickly. Over here quickly. Come over here. Come over here quickly. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. Touch. Jesus' mighty name. Give you the praise. Hallelujah. Let the power of God move now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Come. Come here. Come. In the name of Jesus, I give you the praise. I thank you, my Lord. Touch this life. Fire. The fire of God. The power of the Spirit come over this. I give you the praise. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I don't understand this, but I'm doing this. I just give you the praise, my Lord. Just give you the praise, my Lord Jesus. Let the Spirit of God move. Let every foul and evil spirit in the name of Jesus be God. Hallelujah. Come here. Come here. Stay here. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to set you free today. I don't know what it is, but God, you've been crying out. Touch Jesus' name. Let everything leave. Let every demon's power leave in Jesus' name. Touch your Lord. Set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give you the praise, my Lord. I thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Come here, sister. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, touch this life by your power and the Spirit. Jesus' name, let the Spirit of God move, move like a mighty wind. Oh, restore what the locusts ate. Restore what, what they chew from her life. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, restore the mighty power and blessings. Restore your glory back into this temple. In the name of Jesus, restore, my Lord. Hallelujah. Precious God. Precious God. Precious God. You come over. Precious Jesus. Precious God, I praise you. Church this life. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Touch this life in Jesus' mighty name. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, touch this beautiful spirit. Touch this beautiful spirit. Lord, you have. You have the plan. In the future, Jesus, fire, touch with your fire, Jesus, your spirit, fire, touch with your fire, my Lord. Well, hello, friends, and I'm so glad you tuned in today in this to, in this program, and as we're going through the book of Joshua, chapter one, and then chapter 2, uh, we will learn wonderful, powerful things. You see, when the Spirit of God is speaking, this is the catch. When we get the revelation, spiritual revelation from the Word of God, doesn't matter how many times we read the same chapter, but when we understand the principles, oh my God, that sets us free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be praying for you in a moment, and um, uh, wonderful things are happening through the ministry, and I love to pray for people.
But before I'm going to pray for you, I just want to encourage you to come to meetings in Saskatoon and the 19th of September in Winnipeg. As you see the information on your screen, I'll be a guest speaker in Saskatoon uh, for a fire conference, uh, uh, the Ray Martel's, um, Pastor Ray Martel's conference annual. And then the next day after Sunday, which is Monday, I'm going to have one, only one miracle meeting in Winnipeg. In Winnipeg, yeah. As you see the information on your screen, don't forget to come. Only one night in Winnipeg. So, and also the information is coming your way. In October, I'm planning to be in Toronto. And in November, I'm planning to go to Ottawa. So, oh, precious God. Now, if you want me to come to your city, give me a call. Give me a call. Say, hey, listen, I want you to come to us, pray, and see what God will do. Amen. Precious Jesus. Now, let me pray for you and believe God for your miracle today. Father, in a mighty, mighty, precious name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for a breakthrough in people's lives. We want to thank you, Lord God, for everything you do. Hallelujah. Just touch people's lives. My Lord Jesus, I pray for the fire of God, for the fire of God to come upon their lives right now. And in the name of Jesus, I command, I take, take my stand in Christ and I command every spirit of sickness, disease, every foul spirit, every spirit of deception, every spirit of corruption in the name of Jesus. I command you to bow before Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak for my Lord and I command you to go leave the people of God right now. Let them go in the name of Jesus. I speak healing to your body. I speak healing to your soul. I speak prosperity to you. I I speak victory to you. I speak uh, deliverance to you. I speak wonderful things of God. Just receive by the power of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive Jesus into your life and His power to set you free in the name of Jesus. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, more and more we use in now Facebook. And I want to encourage you to log into our Facebook. It's easy. You can do this through our website, which is uh, Direct Connect with Facebook. Or you can go to Facebook and find us out face, on Facebook, which is House of David Ministry uh, Montreal. How to, House of David Ministries Montreal. And sign up as a friend. Just follow. Follow me there. Because almost every day I'm live there. I'm, I'm bringing some powerful teachings there. And I want to encourage you more. Television is a wonderful thing, but it's not enough. Half an hour a day. We want to touch people's lives more and more. We got phone calls from Asia, uh, from different parts of the world right now. They say, can, can you hook us up on Skype and pre preach to us, speak to us? People are hungry for the Word of God. People are hungry for the power of God. And I'd like to encourage you to connect to Facebook, to Hustler Ministries, and um, follow us. And anytime I'm live, you're going to receive a notification on your phone or iPad or computer if it's open that I'm live. And actually, every day you can check and you'll see what we have done every day for you. Because we believe that uh, our ministry can encourage you and can touch your life and can bless you. So this, this is why we are there every day. Every day. I love to pray for people. Hallelujah. Again, remember, again, where are we going to be? Uh, Saskatoon, 16th through the 18th and the 19th, I will be in Winnipeg for one night only. Here's the information, as you see it on your screen, 16th through 18th, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, for the annual conference with River of Life Ministries. I'll be a guest speaker there. And then the 19th of September, only one night, Monday night, I'll have a miracle meeting in Winnipeg. And then we're making plans for October for Toronto. Stay tuned. We are going to be in Toronto for, uh, in October for our uh, two days miracle meetings. And then we're planning in November to come, uh, to come to Ottawa. Now, if you want me to come to your city, wherever you are, let me know. Call us. Write to us and tell us, pray about this. Rabbi Gennady, Pastor Gennady, pray that you, God may lead you to our city. I, I'm willing to come to every city and to bring miracle meetings as long as we have enough interest and in people that they may come and receive from Jesus. Amen. And I want to say again, partners and uh, friends, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. We are growing, but slowly. We need more partners. We're looking forward to have more partners. If you would like to become a partner today of this ministry, give us a call. And we need your support. 
you would really appreciate it. And in appreciation to you, we will send you free every month faithfully our magazine in the booklet form. It's a magazine in the booklet form. You will receive from us from free, for free from us. And the, the, there are my teachings and all other information is there. They will be connected together again. So give us a call and sign up for that magazine today and become our partner. And for the existing partners, thank you so much for your help. We appreciate everything you do. Help us today. Continue to help us. Send your gift and be blessed. Well, thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Shalom to you, as, my, as I may say. Peace be unto you. And until tomorrow, God's blessings are resting upon your life. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. House of David, Jewish Messianic Ministry, is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.